Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Welcome back. We are playing... This is an Eladomri's Toolbox deck that was submitted by the Urchai. Uh, if you guys want to submit your own decks, you can definitely do that. You can email me at frank at franklinport.com. Uh, it's a great way to support the channel, and uh, you can find my uh, the info either down below in the Twitch description or in the YouTube description. So definitely check that out. Um, we're also going to be talking about some Icoria spoilers, I'm sure, in the chat, uh, of which I will probably have uh, my own YouTube video for, because there's a lot to talk about. Um, yeah, this deck is basically, you, you're using Eladomri's Call as a toolbox. I did use Manatraders.com as a way to fulfill this deck and borrow the cards I needed, so if you guys are looking for a great way to do that for Pioneer or Modern, you can check out the link and promo code in the description. You'll get 20% off the first three months. <clears throat> and, uh, the only complaint I have is that they gave me mismatch Eladomri's Calls, but that's okay. I don't think that's an issue. Uh, but yeah, basically we, we can get like Ethersworn Canonist, Thalia, Core Firewalker, Snapcaster, Collector of Scavenging Ooze, Aven Mind Sensor, Tireless Tracker, Reflector Mage, Camball, Knight, and Offensa. Like there's a, it's just basically a toolbox. Aleshnorn, Rurikthar, Worm Coil. We can also sacrifice our Thrag Tusk to get an Aleshnorn if we need it with four, four Eldritch Evolutions. We can sack our Shalai to get a Worm Coil. Uh, we can sack Tristani to get a Worm Coil or a Rorik Thar. The, the basic, basically, the deck is just wanting to, to be able to tutor any creature you need at any given time. And as you can imagine, we have Leyline and Rest in Peace, which are modern staples in the sideboard. Um, we also have a bunch of one-ofs, though. Malira, uh, Linvala, Kalidas, Sun Titan, Thrun, Narset, Primeval Titan, and Gadok Teague. Obviously, we can't search for these because we don't have Living Wish or Glittering Wish. Living Wish. Right, they both go for sideboards, but Living Wish gets a creature. Um, but we can board them in as one ofs if we need them, so. Um, we did not get a Dinosaur Turtle yet, but I do want you guys to know, it's important to note, that we did get a Dino Hippo, which is also pretty sweet. Good old Karuga, the Macro Sage. Um, yeah, and so we'll just read it now because it's up. Uh, Dinosaur Hippo 5-4 for 5. It is rare. Your starting deck contains only cards with converted mana cost 3 or greater and land cards. I don't know how this works in standard. Uh, when Karuga the Macro Sage enters the battlefield, draw a card for each other permanent you control with converted mana cost 3 or greater. So at least one. You're going to draw at least one from himself. Um, yeah, Glittering Wishes. I'm not talking about cards that are, are not modern legal. I'm not saying whether they are or aren't. Hold on. Katie messaged me and I have to respond real quick. <clears throat> Alright. Let's take this deck for a spin. We're going to be in the modern. Anyway. Modern. Where are you at? Also, Gloom Pangolin needs to be changed to something else like a Happy Rainbowlin. <laughs> well, a Pangolin is actually a, an animal. You could keep, you could keep Pangolin. Let's go for two-player queue. That's what that's where we want to be. Hop on in, hop on in. Everybody's got to hop on in. That's the Michael B's like knocking on the door, but then he just comes right in anyway. He doesn't even wait, so it's like I'm gonna knock, but then I'm just gonna pop right in anyway. He don't even care. He don't give. He don't even give an f about nothing. I got the notice. Michael got the notif. Well, Doomsday, I know what I know what a I know what a companion hey, what's that what's the one in uh <clears throat> what's the one in Commander? Partner? Is that what it's called? Yeah. Do you know what com you know what companion is? <clears throat> is that the new thing? Oh shit, Mike's got his invisible shirt on. And his belly was sticking out, so he had to pull up his shirt his pull his pants. Screen's good. I can't. You're in the way. <laughs> Let me know if the screen I'm standing right in front of is good. Yeah, that's fine. God, you're real red. Look how look. You always bring the redness. See, look how red I am now. Mm -hmm. Jesus. 
Bro, can I tell you how excited I am about these fucking Godzillas in this set? They're real sweet. Mike was like, you know, it's also real exciting that you get to have Godzilla as your commander. And I was like, that is real funny. Unfortunately, none of them were commanders I'd really want to play, but oh, okay, it's listen, still really cool. I gotta be a hater. That's true, though. They're not like, they're not the best legendaries, but they're super cool that they exist. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Leyline of Sanctity? Sure, my dude. I don't even care. I ain't targeting you with nothing. So what deck is this? Is Pioneer or Modern? This is... Oh, you... Fetch Lance. You think, modern. You think this guy's in Pioneer? He might be. Mm, he ain't. <clears throat> look at this. Look at the name of this. Look at the name of this. Uh, this pet that Katie sent me. Forgive more Magunda. Wow. Oh, actually, I don't think that's a pet's name. I think that's a doctor's name. I would put the pet name. Okay, Glade Clever, Glade Cl Clever Scout. Companion mechanic states that you can start with it in your opening hand. Oh no, you not in your opening hand. You get it in play, right? Or you get it in like at the command zone, right? Or wherever, wherever, whatever zone. Shut up and take my money. Oh wow, something's happening. One Godzilla bug. What up, Kerwit? My man. All right, so I think we're just, I think we're just dead to this Glade cover scout. I feel bad about it, but is that what companion reads? Commander. Companion. Companion? Companion. Don't, don't yell. We're friends here. <coughs> well, I think I'm different from Canada. I think I'm thinking of the uh, the one like makes your deck all the same. Oh, that was a good draw. Like the slime? The card. one that makes your deck all the same. <clears throat> okay. So we can get a Questing Beast, a Shalai, or a Siege Rhino here. Or we can get a Knight of Autumn, an Anafenza, a Camball, or a Reflector Mage, or an Aven Mind Sensor, or a Tireless Tracker. Interesting. If we get a four drop, then we can also get a Rurikthar, which is probably just gonna wreck him, right? Like wreck it, Ralph over here. <clears throat> and we're definitely gonna. Well, Oof ain't doing you no favors, so. <laughs> You're right. Even if he was, I'm still gonna. Pa I'm still gonna. Still gonna get a big boy. We can also get another sworn cannonist, I guess. That doesn't do anything though. It's either Questing Beast or Siege Rhino. I think it's Beast because it's going to attack for four and then four and it's got Death Touch and Vigilance and it's just very, very good. You ever played Questing Beast before, man? That dude's... It's pretty okay. Oof. Also, yesterday was Michael's actual birthday, so can we get some happy birthdays up in the chat and the and the YouTube comments, guys? <coughs> for once, they will be accurate. For once, they will be accurate. Oh, I think they're just dead, right? Because we get a Rurikthar, and this deck... How does this deck deal with a Rurikthar? All their, cre all their cards are, are spells, right? And they're at nine? Oh, Jesus. They had a family, but then their family was gone. Loktar, Ogar! <clears throat> I mean, I guess they could have Path, but then they still take 6 and go to 3. I guess we're just hoping they don't have Path. Loktar. Hogar. Shut up and take my money. What's happening right now? Happy birthday, Michael. I'm going to celebrate your birthday by giving Frank money. Man, that's my that's that's, that's nice. a gift that keeps on giving. Hyena Umbra. All right, you take 6, my dude. Now what? <laughs> you can't cast any more spells. Wow. All right, you're locked out. I guess you get four blocks here. But uh, I don't know what that That's does. about it. I don't really want to cast that all of Omri's <clears throat> call, to be honest with you. But Also, how do you deal with this when you can't cast spells? You can't. You can't cast non-creatures. Okay, they're just dead. <laughs> good games. <clears throat> well, good games. It was a singular Thank game. You. Wham, bam, Michael B. Lives in the garbage can. You got some, those are some trash there? Here, I'll move my... No, you, you can leave it. No, I gotta throw it out anyway. I'll do it when I get my refill. You got some oil on the table. Oil? Yeah. From what? From your sandwich. A, like oh, a pep, because a pepper the, fell off or something. A pepper? Yeah. Unbelievable. 
I don't think we need ley lines. I don't think we need to rest in peace. Gaddock T doesn't seem good. That, that doesn't, doesn't seem do good. Uh, and Vala doesn't seem good. Kalidus doesn't seem good. It's okay because it gains life, but... Ugh. Ugh. And cast non-or creature card. Eh, that doesn't seem great. Titan. None of these cards seem great against this deck. <coughs> no, I think you just ship it. You think I chocolate? You think I chocolate chip it? Yeah. Chocolate chip it. Um. I got that World of Warcraft from nice. I mean, like technically, rest in peace stops the enchantments from coming back, or the bear umbra. Oh wait, no, it doesn't because it's not how it works. The what from coming back? I was gonna say the bear umbra, but they don't come back. The bear umbra? They just die, and the creature doesn't die. So what the fuck they say the bear umbra? Bear umbrum. Bear Umbrum? Yeah. There ain't no M at the end of Umbra. Oh, it's Umbra? <laughs> umbrum. Umbra. That's a fucking motorcycle. So Brum, umbrum, brum, brum, brum. Yeah, all right. This is fine. Hunter's chewing on his bone. Of which he needs a reply. Oh, Campbell actually seems great in this matchup, too. Hey, man, what's your favorite kind of soup? Campbell. Mm-mm, better. You got it. You think they took their ley lines out? Good, good, good conversation. Good talk, Michael. Good talk. I'm responding to Kerwit. Oh, my bad. Is he asking how you can send your birthday money? He already did. <laughs> he sent me ten dollars, and I said, uh, "Thanks, buddy. Those are nug bucks. Those are nug bucks. Ten nug bucks." <sighs> Wham! Bam! Zubidi do, hubidi do do, Michael bees. I was walking along. Oh, what up, puppy dog eyes? Wow, this is, look at this. Look at this guy with all of his, with all of his things. I think Campbell might be a little too slow here. I think we wanted a bird of paradise. Where is my birdie? I mean, I guess we do gain two from this guy, but uh, Reflector Mage is actually pretty bad here. Not gonna lie. You know how people say not gonna lie? You know that? Good talk, Michael. I'm still responding to Kerwin. It's taken me a long time. And I was accepting the money. <clears throat> Good for you, man. I was putting it in my bank account. Good for you. PayPal always tries to get you with that 1% fee if you do it instantly, and I'm like, no thank you. I can, yeah, instantly. It usually only takes one day anyway. Yeah, it's like, it'll be there tomorrow. How desperate you gotta be for... 1% for a day, you know? Man, I was throwing snowballs out your window this morning. You didn't even hear them. I wish I heard it. I tell you, no, they say that, but I'm not going to lie. <clears throat> I tell you, I know. Oh, I know they say that. But, but I tell you what. Brett, I appreciate your honesty. Brett's not going to lie. I think Nug Bucks are the only currency that Mike will accept, correct? Okay, well, I think we're dead here because I just can't deal with 6-3. <laughs> Push it to the limit. Bang, bang, it got, bang. Oh, yeah. It do. I answered my own question. Oh, we just so we just go to six, actually. Yeah, we, you just die. I mean, I guess I guess there's a chance <clears throat> that they cast a spell before they attack us, but then there's a chance that that spell kills us, too, so. The Nugonomy going. Yeah, that's the Nug economy, in case you guys didn't know in the chat. Push it to the limit. Well, can you know, why do I have push to the limit stuck in my head? Did you do something? That wasn't me, bro. Weird. Oh, they wow! wow they did it, cast a spell. Wow. That's hilarious. I don't, I don't. I'm not sure I understand, but all right. I mean, we're still dead in two turns unless they play something. Here's an ethereal armor. Yep, that'll do. All right, cool. Still don't know why you pathed. Like it's yeah, no need you to. could have just played this instead. And <clears throat> let's take out Rec Rec Refler Reflermation Sage. Who did what? Did? I forgot what his name was. 
You said what now? Also, Path Exile is pretty terrible. So, um, this was his response. Oh, that's a good gift. Wow, I didn't know that gift existed. doesn't do anything. See, now I can't tell if people wishing me happy birthday is for my actual birthday from yesterday or just people joining the chat and just wishing me happy birthday because they do that anyway. Yesterday was your actual birthday? We, we literally... Don't lie, man. We already went over this. Don't lie to people. <laughs> I'm just going to board in a bunch of nerds. Like, I mean, Path is literally a blank in this deck because they got creatures that can be targeted. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> oh, yeah. We'll keep it. Snap it off. Snap it in and snap it off. Snap it to do, da, Dave. Let's get a... Uh, tomb. Bird it up. I would say board and thrun, but they're running spirit mantle. Also, like... I just don't feel like we have the luxury of having Thrun and then also untapping and then keeping two mana up to regenerate. Like it just plus they have trample from like they have they have Griff's boon uh to fly and probably Rancor for trampling. Okay, yeah. we okay, if we play this if we sack this gentleman, we get a three drop, right? What do we get? Actually getting a cam ball seems pretty good here. Nothing else seems great, though. Oh, th actually, getting a Thalia doesn't seem terrible. It slows him down a bit. Interesting. You do lose a mana, though. So there's that. I want something that comes that does some... Oh! Cancel. That's not what I want to do. I just want to look at my deck. Um, so we can get anything from these two columns. Mm -hmm. What do we bring in? God, Octavia doesn't do anything. I just brought that guy in as a 2-2 two, two for 2. <coughs> Got a good tireless tractor. I mean, I think we're just going into Thrag Tusk anyway, but... You need that fancy spirit from Theros. You need me, me personally? Because I don't know what that would do in this. I think this. getting Camboss seems pretty good. It does seem alright. Especially this early when they have nothing out. Force them to play into it. Ringo. <clears throat> yeah, that seems fine. And if they want to path it, then that fixes our mana a little bit. Oh, Eldritch Revolution gets exiled? That's weird. Yeah. That's very strange. Oh, yeah. Give me that. Give me that sweet, sweet life. Come at me, bro. Did they take one here and they take another two? Oh, dang. Oh, Ethereal Armor is a real, a real pain. That's a good one. Are you going to come at me, bro? Oh, wow. Bro. Bruh. The spear that takes away hexproof? <clears throat> I didn't even know that was a Oh, the Shadow Spear? Yeah, that one seems good. <clears throat> I don't know what we can do with it. We could put one Stoneforge Mystic in the deck and actually put some equipment in here too. That seems pretty sweet. Ringo. You know Ringo, Michael? Yeah, man. I also might want to consider chumping with Snappy. That's what I was that's yeah, that was my plan. You have to take one to do that, but... No. Yeah, but you just take them four. Oh, yeah. You keep giving me that sweet, sweet life. Six, six. You got it. Man, Campbell's doing some work. They just gained a six and they lost six. <laughs> like, that's pretty good. I'm only sold them down a bunch. It excels because of not only Dark Dwellers, but also... Oh, no, it doesn't... Uh, wow. Well, Rancor is a problem. Mm. Now blocking with a snap seems not worth it. Now it's nine. Ringo. No blocks. I will play Snappy here, though. Maybe. Yeah, I think I'll just play Snaps. Is this cube? No, Tim. It says it in the description. God. <clears throat> so we gain one because we have to take two to play it. I mean, we're probably dead because I'm sure they're just going to have like a float on over and kill me card. The funny thing is they also go to one, so. Actually, they can't play anything here. Yeah, they died to the cannonball trigger. Oh, that's awesome. 
yeah, they can't even path here. They can t they can cast no spells, so we get to chump block, and then they this this actually wow we might be they might be dead. I'm sorry, I can't read Tim. I don't believe you. I think you're a liar. Why do I push it to the limits like I'm at again, guys? Nobody knows. <clears throat> I think we won this game. They can't. They literally can't cast the spell. So they have to just have their 9-7 guy. If they attack, we'll take it, go to 1, because they can't pump. And then they die. They have to play, like, 3 creatures. They can't actually even activate Horizon Canopy. Won the game. What was the card I said we should put in? Stoneforge Mystic. Thank you! Okay, someone mentioned in a YouTube comment... Cave Cub, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Random YouTube squad sub cube with the extra medium content. Will do. Will do. I appreciate you, buddy. I think it's sweet. So, like, okay, the zoom issue that I was having, so if you feel like where it just keeps zooming in on cards, like this, I was told if you go down to the white area and click, it stops. Oh. And it does. Okay. It's a weird workaround, and it shouldn't have to exist. But at least you know it's good. Yeah, but it's nice to have a solution. Look at that turtle. She's thinking about going up on that ledge. She's like, <laughs> she's like I'm going to just stand here for a little minute. Oh, man. Push it to the mic B. Do, 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 do. <coughs> Alright, so... Waldo, what up, my dude? Mr. L and Mr. B. I like it. Okay. Um, I did like... What are you doing, man? Scratching your back? Are you sitting no, up? I'm just sitting up. With your little trick arms? Yeah. Okay. With little trick arms. <laughs> Interesting. So I don't actually like Avon Mind Sensor because, like, you kind of want to, like, I don't think there's any decks that are, like, mm -hmm. really searching their library, like, aggressively. I mean, you can play it when they go to fetch and no, you wasteland them. Yeah, but it's a one of, you know what I mean? Like, so, like, you'd want an Elvish Evolution into it, Eldritch Evolution into it, but it's sorcery, <clears throat> right? Is there like, any deck that searches a lot? Not really. Katie Mullov, Stompy Boys, look, we got a little Siege Rhino in here and a, and a Swaggy Bay. Because even the combo Your decks, is, there's, no, there's no tutors, right? Like, it's all, it's all <coughs> draw cards based, right? There's no real tutors in the format. Yeah, not really. Not in modern. Like, it's literally just for fetch lands, I would imagine. There's no birthing pods or anything. One copy of Magus of the Moon seems... No offense, Puppy Dog Eyes. Terrible. <laughs> because our mana base is extremely reliant on dual lands, including Mana Confluence and City of Brass. Will you and Mike ever do a Statler and Waldorf skit? No, I don't think we'll be doing that. Oh, oh, oh. That was my Statler and Waldorf. That was Waldorf. pretty good. Really? That was not bad. It felt weird coming out, but I think it I, in my head it sounded decent. Remember when Mike B used to sit with his arms behind his back like they were tied? I do that sometimes when my back hurts. Walk along the razor's edge, but don't look down. Just keep your head out. Really, what is that? What is that from? I'm trying to sing it, but I couldn't think of like what that was from. Did you see the lead singer of Stacy's mom died? No. Yeah. Huh. Fountains of Wayne, the lead singer of Fountains of Wayne died from uh, COVID-19 complications, dude. Oh, dang. Yeah, he was like 50. I'll say it. Yeah, it's kind of weird. You got like four birds, bird up. <laughs> look how red we look, man. It's unreal. I'm going to have to unred us a little bit. Hold on. I don't know why you didn't before. Oh, well, because I thought it would go, I thought it would fix itself. Why would you think that? Be Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Come no, it's not going to be any of these. Oh, it's gonna be color correction. There we go. Saturation. There we go. Much better. <coughs> I want cool. Michael B's disappearing into the. You really just thinking push it to the limit, but with Mike B in the lyrics, yeah. Walk along the razor's edge. Oh, so it was literally just push it to. It was just more of the song that I was singing. That dude was fifty. I feel old. Well, you shouldn't feel old because he was fifty. That doesn't make any sense. Just switched from my phone to the PC because I couldn't see shit on the screen. Me trying to read a card when I was watching the phone. <laughs> oh Jesus! This is this is this is what he just showed. <laughs> I fucking. I love. think even my sensor for Stoneforge would be a decent swap. Yeah, I like that. Then we also have to cut things for equipment, though. Oh, man, I got real excited because I thought this was a Stoneforge Mystic like, alternate art. And I was like, oh, oh, but no. it wasn't. All so right. do you want to play one Stoneforge? It seems weird. It does seem weird. <coughs> I 
Where's Shadow Spear? I don't even think I have that card. Clearly I don't because it's not. What? No, what collectible? I don't even know what that means. Yeah, I like Pokemon, dude. Collect them all. Shadow Spear. MCG Power with the bits. Happy birthday and belated birthday, Mike B. Yeah, because today was his birthday, but also yesterday as well. Lose Hexproof and Indestructible. That seems real good. I want to bring... Maybe put one of these in the sideboard. Yeah, it doesn't seem like the sword you want to... I don't know. The lifelink and the trample is good, right? Lifelink seems fine. I walk a lonely road. I'm gonna take one. I feel like one path is fine to take out. Mm, it's your only removal. Oh, it's not. I got reflector mage dummy. Wow. Ba 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 bounce them. What do shatter spears cost? Probably like a nickel. If it's like under a dollar, I'll just buy it. But oh, it's like twenty cents. Fuck yeah, I'm just buying that, dude. Dude, give me that shadow spear, bro. I wonder if Shadow Spear is actually better than Batter Skull in your deck. I mean, I would probably play both if I got Stoneforge, right? Push it to the mic B. Yeah, I don't know if it's worth it to play one Stoneforge, though. Why? You just draw the card, too, man. Oh, I, this, is the, this is the alternate art one? That one's only 50 cents? And I get this cool border? Or the original... Is 18 cents. Come on, I just get four of the original. I'm not getting four of either. I just need one. Why do I get four? Yeah, when am I ever going to play work? a four of this legendary artifact? Well, maybe three. Why would I just get one? And if I need two more, I'll get two more when I need them. What if it goes up? Why would, why would it go up? It's a legendary artifact. You never know. <laughs> Wait, did I actually recommend a card that's going in the deck? Yeah, you did. That's you goddamn right you did. <clears throat> I guess you kind of have more copies with it because of Elder's Evolution. And Eladomry's, Eladomry's Call. You just Eladomry's Call for Stoneforge and then play it. Yeah, okay. I guess that's fine. That's the whole point of the deck is searching things out, you know? So also be Skull. I'm um, I walk a batter skull. What if we cut though? Like, I don't want to cut creature. Uh, I don't think Tireless Tracker is actually that good. I think it's a cool value creature, but I'd much rather have creatures that affect the board like all of these guys. Sure. Like, because I never want to go Eldritch Evolution in a Tireless Tracker, and since there's only one of, like, that's a lot of times what you're probably going to want to do. I could yeah, see... I see cutting that. Uh, better. I could see it in the sideboard as, like, a... It's good against, like, control. Also, Narset seems odd. Narset? In the yeah. sideboard, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, that's, I think it's because you want to hit, like, Eldritch Revolution or Eldritch Armory's Call, so you're just drawing a card. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't get it. It doesn't seem that great, though. I don't know when I board it in is the thing. Like, I guess against control, but even then, like, it's a six-mana thing that has to resolve, and at most you're getting cards that aren't great against control anyway. It just doesn't seem to fit. I actually don't like Snapcaster. I mean, you're going to get, you can, the most thing you're going to do is Eldritch Armory's Call or Path to Exile. Yeah, that's oh, a it's one of. Let's see, hold on. I think it's good as a one of. Nope, it does not work. Hold on. Click over here. Still zooming. All right. Hmm. Let's right click. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, so much for that. Well, I thought it was I thought it worked. What are you saying about Snapcaster as a one of? I think it's good. One really? Target. Yeah. There's only two targets. There's literally Path and Elod Armory's call. It just seems really low impact. Mm. Yeah. I guess so. I mean, like, it's also messing up the mana because it's blue. I mean... Until there's Reflector Mage. Oh, uh, we definitely don't want a Hushbringer because it's going to affect all of our cards as well. So then we don't get Siege Rhino, uh, Tristani, Thrag Tusk. Yeah, it seems bad. Uh, Worm Coil when it dies. Uh, Stoneforge now, Reflector Mage, Knight of Autumn. Like, it, it affects, like, bad. eight of our creatures. Um, yeah, you can cut Snappy. I think that's fine. I just don't think it. Do I don't think it does enough in the deck. I think you run it like this for now. Plus, like you're not going to Eldritch Revolution into it, and if your Eladomri's calling into Snapcaster, 
you already have Eldarmory's call. So it's like, I don't know. Well, even... presumably you do that play to get a path back if you really need it. That's really the only reason. Yeah, to do that. but with four paths, like I can't imagine decks like I need another path. Plus, like I'll just get Reflector Mage and. Either way, we beat Bogles. You guys know Bogles? You say Bogles and Bo McMoguls. I always called it Boggles. Everyone does. What about just bogeys? I mean, you play against bogeys? I walk a lonely road. The Evergreen Hellcare employees called here. My mother was like a ninja, not one freaking sound. After 20 minutes waiting, they yelled, Lady, her complete name. Would do us a favor? Oh, get in the F out of the house to get your free flu shot? Dang it, we know you are there. Huh. Wait, what did they yell what did they yell through? Were you on the was she on the phone with them? Or were they at the door? Were they like, play a few golden goose, keep your drop count up for better opening? What does that mean? What are you saying right now? <coughs> Did they call there or were they at the door? What's going on right now, Mark? This whole story's got holes in it. You're chasing skunks again? I guess you could play golden goose to get your uh, more consistent bird hands, but I don't know. They called at our door? What does that mean? They called your front door, like, on the phone? Oh, yeah, so they were, just, they, they were just at the door. They were at your house, basically, is what you're saying. I, mean, I, prefer, the, I prefer thinking that... She's this dino hobo? I did. That could be your commander. Wasn't it like... What was the weather yesterday, man? Yesterday, Before yesterday, it was like 70 degrees in Denver, apparently, and Katie's like, today is 26. 27 i don't understand this fucking weather dude i don't understand this nor i'm used to florida where it's like what's today 80 what's gonna be tomorrow 81 okay sounds good here it's like what's it today 56 tomorrow it's gonna snow you pulled that card again all right cool what's the keyword companion do i don't know we were literally talking about this oh what's wrong with you Uh, I mean, what are the odds we draw creatures? How many lands we got in this deck? Twenty-three. Well, I like that you told me as I was checking it, as if you were like, "I'm gonna get a heads up on them." No, I no, like I remember there was twenty something, but I couldn't. Quite Every remember. deck has twenty something, Michael. <laughs> I thought it was twenty-three, but I wasn't sure, so I I waited. And... You're like, how many cards does this limited deck have? I'm gonna say it's around forty. That's my guess. I knew it was. 40 something whether it's 0 41 somewhere around there there's a reminder text on the non-extended art companion cards also mutate seems a little confusing oh here that here's that fat daddy with reminder text thanks to nifty chris if this card is your chosen companion you may cast it once from outside the game that's pretty sweet because oh this is just like chris this is just like is this like was you it? start the game and be like, my companion is Cura the Maso Marco Sage. Cura the Maso Marco Sage, guys. <laughs> That's a real Do card. you just proclaim that at the start of the game? Is that how that works? I like, declare bankruptcy. Michael, you can't just say bankruptcy and, and I didn't say it. I declared it. Okay, but that still doesn't do anything. Why are you confused about the Godzilla cards? You look at them, you read the text, and then they tell you what they do. What's the what's the confusion, my dude? Also, the your starting deck contains only cards with converted main cost three or greater and lands. Yeah. Does that mean like your deck has to be constructed that way? Yeah. For it to work? Yeah. Why? So that's like a rule. That's a that's a rule that it says. So like. It's, 
That's going to be kind of miserable for... I guess Thank it's the same you. thing as deck checks with tournaments. I mean, if you play against someone and they play a two-drop, and they've shown you're your companion, like, oh, for fuck's sake, are you serious right now? Just get out of my life with this bullshit. I mean, you can just float the man in path, right? That's what I'm going to do. Oh, okay. And I'm going to feel bad about it. I walk a lonely road, the only road that my girl's ever known. Check the article I linked on Companion. Oh, yeah, I have this open. I was meaning to read it. <coughs> mutate seems very weird. Yeah, Mutate's going to confuse people real hard. I, I'm confused, and I just read it, and I was like, uh... uh I read it a couple times, I'll I finally get it, but loud. still... That's not what we wanted. That's not... That's not something that props can fix. I guess we probably should have gotten a basic planes, I guess. Okay. There are ten companions, each one a legendary creature. Um, <clears throat> does it take up a sideboard slot? So do you get fifth? It is one of your 15 sideboard cards. Oh, that's weird. So if you're playing companion, you only get 14 sideboard slots. That's interesting. Oh, good. Pillage. Oh, good. Drag Tusk. At least they don't really have a pressure on us. Uh, they don't have a pressure. They don't have one pressure on us. Not even a single pressure. Hey, man, you want to watch Godzilla movies later? Which one? I downloaded some. The old ones or newer ones? Exactly. Oh, good. This is 100% going to hit. Oh, that's... Well, that's not great, but... Yeah, that's pretty bad, actually. <laughs> <clears throat> I walk a lonely Mike B. The only Mike B that I have ever Mike b The one companion was banned in Commander already? Wait, what? Yeah, you didn't see that? No. Which one? Uh, Lut Luthia or something? Well, if it isn't beans and cornbread, it sure is. <clears throat> Mike Beans and Cornbread. Mike Beans and Frankie Cornbread. That's what we call each other. The dual caster otter, Michael. Everybody knows that. The otter was banned. Why? <laughs> Dummy. Um, I bet if we look it up, we can find out. Let's. I bet you'll know immediately why it was banned. Because you got can, that commander prowess. Because it can copy spells? Lutri or? the spell. All right, you ready? Shut up and take my money. All right, I'm going to take somebody's money. Now I have a good enough comp to watch stream on while doing other stuff, so have a buck. Dude, MTG Pyro, I appreciate you, my man. I feel like we're dead here, but... I really hate land destruction. All right, three mana for a three-two with companion. Each non-land card in your starting deck has a different name, so it just makes you play. Look at this elemental otter, dude. <laughs> okay, so it basically makes your deck a Highlander deck, which is fine. Uh, three-two. It's got flash. Mm -hmm. When it enters the battlefield, if you cast it, which mm -hmm. is I don't copy an instant or sorcery spell you control. You may choose new targets for the copy. Why is that ban worthy? Isn't there already commanders that do something similar to this? I don't know. I'm all confused. That's the reasoning? Let's see. Okay. Let's see what Sheldon... I saw Sheldon's post today. We've never banned a card before it's circulates, but we feel strongly compelled to do so for Lutri the Spell Chaser. It is a card unlike any other in Magic's history. While we are firm believers in giving cards their opportunity in a format, it's clear that Lutri would be banned almost immediately. It doesn't have an opportunity cost. You don't have to sacrifice a spot in the 100 in order... Oh, because in Commander, you play it outside of your deck. Mm -hmm. It's just a free card. You see what I'm saying? No, I don't understand. It's a free card. You can play a 101 card deck in Commander. It's just a free card that sits outside the game that you can cast whenever you want to copy an instant or sorcery. There's no cost because all of your cards in your deck already have the same name. Or already have different names. Oh, so it's banned because they don't want people to put it in like a wish board or whatever? No, there is no wish board. It just sits outside of your deck. Each non-land card in your starting deck has a different name. Commander decks already have that. Mm -hmm. So now you just have this card, this companion card that sits outside of the game, mm -hmm. and you can cast it whenever you want to. Oh, but cards like that don't function in Commander, so it just shouldn't function that way. What do you mean? There's a rule in Commander where cards like that are outside of the game don't function in Commander. But this isn't a card outside of the game. It's, it's, that's how the companion ability works. If this card is just a companion, you may cast it once from outside the game. Okay, so it's like the way it's worded. Um, this guy attacking? Oh, fucking Christ. This deck is stupid. I guess I'll block here because I feel like I'd die if I don't. If 
I block here instead, I take seven, I go to one. Well, if you use it as the commander, you don't get the ability to, to get it into your hand. It's not banned just because it can copy one spell. That's not the reason it's banned. It's banned because of the ability to get it into your opening hand at the start of the game. It has nothing to do with a commander that can copy a spell. There already, there's already that one wizard that copies a spell when you cast it. It's not as your commander. No, guys, no one's calling it your commander. You have a commander. Like, they literally say, Lutri as a 101st card is intensely problematic. In the end, this is a special case, and we think that this conservator approach is a better option. Like... Yeah, it's not about it being in the command zone. If it was in the command zone, it would be fine. You have your 100-card commander deck. One commander, 99 cards. You have that deck. You also get to choose a separate companion card that as long as you fulfill the criteria of companion, which is all the cards are named differently, which it sits outside the commander. game and you can cast it. Yeah. It's literally just a free 101st card that you can add to your deck. Yeah, so basically as long as you're playing blue or red, or I mean blue and red, it would just be a 101 free card that just starts in your opening hand all the time. That's why it's banned. It's not banned because of it being a commander that can copy a spell. There's already commanders that do that. Wait, why Why don't you play ED? Why don't you play ED anymore? <coughs> One, two, three, four, five. Add the manas. That's a big fat hippo. Because it's just degenerate crap over and over. Well, if you play with the like commander table, it's not about being. I mean, that's the thing about magic, though, man. You can do whatever you want to do. Like, you don't. If you want to just not play with degenerate crap over and over, just like. Yeah, that's competitive commander. There's definitely also, there's de there's uncompetitive commander. Like also, just, degenerate is completely relative yeah. to who you're playing with. Like, you can do whatever you want in magic. I can make a deck full of all one one vanilla creatures, and it's like not degenerate, right? Have you gotten to ban these cards that even <clears throat> print yet? But did I come? Dude, dead eye combo isn't even a thing in competitive decks. It's way too slow. Like, that's not even a degenerate thing considering how competitive Commander to get. Like, people can just win on turn two. It's not about Deadeye. Like, well, I have five mountains now. Deadeye is also easily interruptible. All right, so... Also, like, you can definitely find people that play, like, without combos or have certain restrictions. Yeah, someone's trying to win the game on turn two, like, they shouldn't be playing casual commander. That's not what casual commander is about. Like, you should only be sitting down with... If your deck can win on turn two, you should literally only be able to play with decks that are trying to achieve the same goal. You can lose on turn zero in Legacy Modern Vintage, but, like, it's extremely rare. Like, most vintage matches are very, very grindy and back and forth. Like, it's just not a good representation of those formats. Like, I, I don't know. I feel like just because you can do something 1% of the time, it's not a good representation of those formats. Like... It's just not true. Yeah, that's the problem with Commander. If you sit down at a table and like one player is just being super ruthless while everyone else is just having to fun, it's going to be an odd pod. And you just like either tell that person to bring a more casual deck or you just don't play Commander with them because it's on a different power level. Right. Like if you're if you're just sad that everything is degenerate, like like for one thing, I, I enjoy Vintage Cube because of the degen the random degeneracy because I think it's a nice break from formats like Modern, Standard, and Legacy, right? Like. Or uh, Pioneer, rather. Like, I appreciate the degeneracy that Vintage Cube brings because most of those other formats are just back and forth grind fests, and that's fun. I like the interaction. Yeah, and the difference is if you're playing with a group of CEDH decks, they're all meant to win really fast, but they're also meant to interact with really yeah, fast. Yeah, they're, they're disrupted easily. So there's actually a lot of interaction. Oh, you're saying CD. competitive or casual? Yeah, and competitive. Yeah. They're meant to interact. Like, they play <clears> a bunch <throat> of counter spells, like the cheap ones that are free, and there's a bunch of interactions and stacks pieces and. Like, they're actually pretty interactive games if you're interested in that kind of thing. But if you're playing with someone who has a, a deck is is like competitive or close to it, and everyone else is just playing fun decks, mm. it's really awkward, and that's that, that shouldn't be the way that your group should play. This is not the way. I guess Collector Rift doesn't do anything. I feel like if you haven't played EDH in two years, you just can't really, like, that... Yeah, you don't grasp the format. Like, if you haven't played in two years, like, it's it's much different than that. 
And also, like, I don't understand, like, the degenerate, like, most more, more and more degenerate. Because, like, magic is a vacuum, right? Like, magic cards only exist. Like, if I take an Eldritch Evolution and I show it to someone who doesn't know how to play magic, it's not degenerate. Like, like, they have no idea. There's no con. There's no nothing to compare it to. They're like, I don't know if this is good or bad. I have It's only as good as the surrounding cards, right? So, like, for cards to be degenerate, like, they have to be stronger than other cards. And I don't think that's true. I think, like, things have progressed, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uniform, unif- uniformly. Like, yeah, there's the majority of the degenerate cards in Commander come from like old, mo- old um, fast mana and uh, like old broken combos. Like, there's some newer combos <coughs> too. But like, so for instance, the most recent new competitive combo is the fastest Oracle win with demonic Consul or not demonic. I think it's demonic consultation, the one that lets you exile your library for one black. But that that combo only works because part of that combo costs one black, and it's a really old card. Like, it's not really from the fastest Oracle. It's the fact that... Right, it's not a new card. It's not a new degenerate card. But magic cards aren't better in a vacuum compared to Ace of Spades. In a vacuum, a magic card in Ace of Spades, like, they have no intrinsic value. Magic cards only have value when compared to one another. Like... Wait, what just happened? Oh, do they take... They took Aaron Mason mana? Like, usually when I sit down to play a game of Commander with people I don't know, it's usually games that last, like, 10, 12 turns, like, a long game. And even if someone's comboing, like, they need, like, three pieces and nothing to go wrong. And it's usually not that degenerate. Like, again, if you're sitting down against a table someone who's winning on turn two, they shouldn't be playing unless you're in your pod, unless everyone's kind of agreeing to that power level. All right, so if I get rid of this bird for a two or three drop, what am I getting... Like, when that happens, you, sh- you should probably call that person out and be like, hey, man, we're just playing casual. We're not playing Yeah, like, if, it's ma- it's, it seems like it's a matter of accountability. Like, you're just going to, like, people are just c- sitting down at these tables and playing the most broken shit, and you're like, okay, well, I guess there's nothing I can do. That's why I never like playing Commander with that dude, Nate, because he would join the ca- the casual pods, <laughs> but bring competitive decks. <sighs> like, really, it was it's so awkward. Yeah, that's annoying. Actually, can I, I have, I have, I have call in hand. I have two mana. I guess we can just actually go call for... <clears throat> yeah, um, I remember played a game like there's one person playing tribal one person playing like group hug I was playing like a mid-range kind of fun deck and like he sits down with uh what's the commander with ninjutsu uh you know what I'm talking about right yeah yeah, yeah. the oh, one three yeah the one uh, three yeah, the, yeah yeah I know what you're talking about and he's just playing the most like competitive version of that deck which by the way is technically still not like tier one but um yeah Yuriko he just sits down with Yuriko and like tries to take extra turns and like or then he'd play, and then he skipped, and then he switched to Edric, which if no one's ever played against an Edric commander deck, all you do is try to take as many turns as you can and just keep drawing cards. Like it's it's really degenerate too. So like it was no fun because the secret is you can just not play with the person who you don't enjoy playing against. Yeah, that that right, I, I that's, agree with that. That's that's what it happens. Like, so I don't like, want to blame magic right. as a whole or magic like design as a whole. I just think there's it, I think the problems lie with individual players and like not even saying they're problematic but like if you're playing with someone and you don't enjoy their play style or the decks they're bringing then just play with different people you know oh like, i agree that oracle uh fastest oracle shouldn't be legal um but i think there's an argument for banning my uh, dad. consultation instead but yeah i i think oracle could probably see a ban i also think they should reban flash all right, so now we can get a four dropper, which I think is actually just one, two, three. Oh, let's see what we can get. Oh, like here. in an actual competitive game, Yuriko is definitely not considered tier one, like not even close. But when you're playing a casual game, uh, it clearly dominates the table. <laughs> That's the problem I have with a lot of complaints about Commander. This card shouldn't be banned. It's not that bad. Just house rule that it's legal then. The combo is too strong. Yeah, right. Like, there's no sanctioned Commander formats, right? Like, it's not like if you show up and be like, hey, can I play this card? Everyone's like, the Commander rules say no. Okay, but we're all friends here, right? So let's figure... Yeah, like, play it how you want to... Commander of all formats should be the format where you, like, you play as how you want to play. Yeah, Flash or Hulk, either one. I think Flash and Hulk should just be banned. Just ban them both. But also, Chris, I appreciate you calling it Commander, and I have no doubt that it's <laughs> literally because you work in a magic uh, professional retail magic store. 
like I actually really enjoy CDH deck, and I have a deck that's that's more focused like that. But I only play that deck if everyone at the it's, table wants to play that kind of game. It's funny to me that you call it CEDH. That that's what it's called because like well, casual is also C. So I was like, oh, casual EDH. Now you're like, oh, competitive. Oh, oh, that's funny because it's like both. It could be either. Yeah, and the only reason I don't call it competitive commander is is because like that community still refers to it as that. Like that's kind of how that community refers to it, just because it's like it's just a staple that's been around so long. Interesting. I walk all Michael B's. The only Michael B lives in the tree. Do, 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 do. This guy's really good, right? Like they can only block with Bloodbraid Elf here. I walk a Michael B. Thank you. I mean, you're welcome to call it EDH if you want, but I prefer correct names rather than incorrect names. <laughs> Yeah, I actually prefer to call it commander. It's only in competitive because, like, that's just kind of like what that community is adoptive. Like uniformity is just important. Like, if everyone's on the same page and the format is called one name, it's a lot easier for new players. Like, if 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 Magic is branding it professionally as commander, um, and then someone is like a new player, you're like, you want to play some EDH, and they're like, I don't know what that is. You're just having to explain it to them. Yeah, the thing is, I think combos like in commander are fine as long as they're not super. Like, as long as they're not too good or too uninteractable with. Like, if you're playing a combo in a casual game, it should probably involve at least three cards, and it shouldn't be able to be done on, like, turn two. Hey, Frank and Mike, I'll be sending you a list here soon for some Commander. Thank you for the... Dude, thank you so much, man. Cassius, really appreciate you, buddy. <coughs> During these times. I get that... I, I've been getting that a lot, which is really... It's it's nice to be uh, appreciated during the, uh, you know, the, the darkest days here, so... Is Kenrith? Kenrith is actually uh, considered the arguably the best five color commander in in CEDH. My dad. Your dad? Kenrith is great. Yeah, Kenrith is great in, in like standard as well. Yeah, because the reason why he's so good: one, you get access to all five colors, which is very good and competitive. Uh, two, he's an infinite mana dump to draw your deck if you want. Uh, if you have infinite mana and blue, you can draw your deck with him. So he's very high tier, actually. You know who else is high tier? My dad. I'm going to path this guy because I don't even care. Give it a germy boy. Little germy McGermerson. Don't even come at me, bro. Oh, yeah. The Najila deck's very good, too. But there's definitely... The Najila? Najila, yeah. Who's Najila? That, like, that sounds like a Godzilla monster as far as I'm concerned. You can make an argument that Kenrith is just as strong as Najila. They're different decks. They Najila. do different things. They play the same combos, though, so it doesn't really matter too much. I've never even heard of that freaking card. It's so funny that, like, there's so many magic cards that, like, you can name, you can still name cards, and I'm just like, what? I have never heard of Najila. Oh, is this the Battle Bond card? Oh, I yeah. know this card. I know it after all. Yeah, there's there's just combos where you get you just keep untapping and attack, attacking over and over again, and you get to combine that with our, your already optimal deck, and it's a very aggressive commander, so it's good. Okay, you don't have to impress me, okay? You don't have to show off, Michael. I'll get another forest. I'll play Thrag Daddy. Michael, can you tell me who your Thrag Daddy is? <clears throat> Who's my Thrag Daddy? I want to hear it. I'll never know. You'll never know? I'll never know. That's weird. That's how I felt about pricing cards when I was on the job. Oh, that card is selling out. I guess I'll price it up to... This card is $35. <laughs> yeah, that's... uh, Dude, Chris, I still feel that way when I look up cards that I'm like, oh, what's this card? I've never heard of it. And then they're like, oh, it's a $40 card. Did you really think it's better right now because it puts pressure on life totals faster? Yeah, they're different decks. I don't know. They're both really, really good. They're both... Thrag well, Daddy both gave me a name and then he walked away. <laughs> Oh, Lord. Yep. Yuppers. Kenrith can be a super fun, like, casual deck, too, though. Like a politics commander. Politics? Yeah. Oh, wow. Did they just pillage my worm coil engine? That's wild, man. So, why, wow, they go to one from this questing beast? Interesting. Exalted creature. Well, that's 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 fascinating. That's just look at all this life gain we have going on here, man. I'm 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 about it. I'm about it. Like they're gonna have to chump a bunch, right? Like we have four four fat daddies coming into the red. 
Also, so far, the commanders that they spoiled for Commander 2020. I don't like any of them. Really? No. Gamma said, I'm glad to hear it, man. I think a lot of the commander sets, like, I don't think the commanders are as relevant as, like, the supplemental commander cards. Does that make sense? You know Except I mean? for when you compare it to whatever the, the set with partners came out of, all those commanders were insane. Yeah, that's true. But a lot of them even had, like, didn't, like, I mean, a lot of them even saw constructed play. Yeah, they were that good. Like the, like the Grixis one? I forgot what her name was. Uh, that was the set before. But... Shut up, man. Wow. Shut up, Michael. You know, let me let's talk about. Oh fuck! I just overpaid. You know how good putting a batter skull on a on a questing beast is? It's got to be. It's got to be top top ten anime betrayals of all time for sure. <clears throat> Kess, yeah, Kess. Yeah, Kess. that's the one. Kess is very strong. What about the little dirtle, like the little goblin dude? Is that a thing? The Rakdos one. Sure. The partner one. Yeah. Yeah, that guy's tier one. Uh, you know it's gonna be nuts mutating a questing beast, dude. I don't even know. Mutate seems confusing to me. It's very confusing. You got it. My father gave me a name. The old Opus Thief deck is what they call it. And then he walked away. He was like, "Goodbye." And I was like, "Okay, I'll see you later, Dad." Are they gonna come at me with Stoneforge? I feel like we're just double blocking here. And you guys are like, oh, he has Death Touch. You could just single block. But the problem with that is, you see, uh, we get four life if we double block. So There's a fancy mod view thing now. I feel powerful. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, Chris showed me the other day. And I was like, oh, my God. This is like a command center. Oh, Affinity, there's a video. Oh, they just conceded. All right. I mean, they weren't just dead. Oh, well, a lesser one would actually probably just kill them. Um, Affinity, there's like there's a companion video and a mutate video. That's wild. Okay, so the year, <clears throat> the year of our lord, the Atraxa deck, like the 2016 commander decks, were so pushed compared to all the ones that have come out after. <coughs> like all the cards in that. Maybe like, they realized like, hey, these are two constructed play. What was the true name? Like, cause remember when true name Nemesis came out? No, that was prior. Well, I know. I'm just saying, man. Yeah, true name is busted, but it's actually not that good in Commander. True name is really only good in Legacy. My daddy gave me a name, Michael. I'm gonna bring in Linval. Actually, Linval seems good against them. They got a bunch of dirtily animals. Yeah, when the 2016 comes on, I'm like, oh great, they're actually gonna make really good commanders from now on. No, JK. but each set, I'm just like, eh, this is okay, I guess. Meh. Sunny D, it'll burn your throat. So far, our deck's doing very, very good. What up, Free Broccoli? <laughs> That's a great name. That's a great name. Also, the whole, like, Death Touch counters, that's kind of annoying to keep track of. Well, there's Death Touch, there's Trample, there's yeah, Flying. Yeah, there's all of them. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Johnny, what up, my dude? Good seeing you, man. I'm going to play an Arbor Elf on turn one. Would you like to see my Arbor Elf? Here it is. Oh, Utopia Sprowl. You like when I call it Sprowl? I hate stack stacks. I like your Ethereal sweatshirt, Mike. It's wild. Thanks. It's wild. Mike is wiling out. Honestly, I'd rather get combat off on turn two than have to play a game where all I can do is not like cast my spells. I really love these alternate arts. Yeah, they're real good. Like, they remind me of comic books, and that's super cool, because there's not a lot of comic art in Magic. It's usually, like, traditional fantasy art. Also, this card's pretty pretty good. It's, uh... Pretty, 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 pretty good. Wish I windswept Heath for a planes here. I guess I can path this guy. Go get a pl planes, eh? I can also actually we can go we can Eldritch Evolution this bird into a uh, into a Reflector Mage. Yeah, the Godzilla alts are insane. Those are real cool. I actually I love them. I love them so much. I love them, Mister Anderson. You know that that's from the Matrix. You know Mister Anderson from the Matrix. Do you know? 
It's kind of a bummer that three of the 19 cards are available only in collector packs slash Japanese packs. Or you can just buy them on the secondary market. Yeah, that's going to up their price a lot. You know what, man? Shut up with your negativity, Michael. Is it Reflector Mage bounce this guy and then we get a chance to do some shenanigans next turn? Or is it an offense? An offense. Well, they're just going to replay it if you bounce it. Oh, they can't because Reflector Mage is good. You, gotta yeah. turn. <laughs> you can't because Reflector Mage is a good card. I think it's Reflector Mage. You need to be able to cast your spells, bro. Well, it only gives us a turn, but I do want to get a planes, so. Yep, you got it. <clears throat> oh, here comes Oh god, I hope they hit I hope they hit a, another Magus with their with their Bloodbraid elf. Oh, it's just a Stoneforge. Okay. You got it. Because it's Mike B. Oh, do, 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 do. Let's get a planes right now. As a commander player, it's just a little annoying that every year they come out with new commanders. I'm like, this is going to be exciting. And then I'm like, oh, they, they're not good. Yeah, but you get it every year. Like, I mean, it's not like it's like some rarity, you know? Like, it's not like, well, we had a once in a lifetime chance here and it wasn't that good. You get a... I just wanted them to make one that is interesting enough where I'd want to build the deck out of it. I mean, I feel like they've done that, right? Like, it's just not this year, right? Well, so far. Now everything's spoiled yet, so... If you cast a spell for its mutate cost, put it over... Yeah, no, Smoky Lucky, I know what the description... I know what the rules text is. It just seems... Put it over or under a creature. They mutate into the creature on top, plus all abilities from under it. I'm like, uh, uh, what? They mutate into the creature on top, and then they get all the abilities under it? Oh, God, there's just so much going on. Pick on the top. Pick on the bottom. I think the bug commander's dope. Is that the one where you like get one permanent for free? I think that one's pretty good. That's the only one that I think this is decent. I like that I tapped my planes in response to this guy. I was just like, uh, I'll tap it in response, even though it's still gonna be white. There's a lot going on, I don't care. You got it. If I were to build the commander deck, I would have to build Golos. Golos is real good. Hulos? He goes los. Sure to go los, los, los. Golos makes a really fun deck. I kind of want another black source so I can play this Kalidus. Oh, well, that's good. That's a black source. I'm fixing a hole where Mike's mom do dudes. Scooby doo dudes. Oh, yeah, you could do that where you only one permanent in the uh, bug commander is just omniscience and then go nuts with that. Because it's the only thing you'll hit, the only permanent in your deck. You could do that. <sighs> Let's pass the turn because I don't want them to put in the batter skull and then come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. It'll burn your throat. The dino turtle's out. Where? Uh, can you link it in the chat, Markles? I hope it's good. <clears throat> I'm gonna play a oh, fucking god, make us to the moons all day. Jesus, that's annoying. Oh, there it is. Oh wow. Oh man, and it's got a Godzilla makeover, dude. When you cycle Idaro, shuffle it into your library from your graveyard. Uh, if a car if you cycled a card named the Wandering Monster <laughs> Idaro four times this game, put it onto the battlefield from your graveyard instead. Oh, that's pretty sweet. So you cycle it. Oh, so you can play four of these, and you can go cycle, 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 and then you just put it in your. Oh, that's that's Otherwise, great. Otherwise, it's an idiot with trample and haste. Yeah, you know, I think our opponent's winning this game. Oh, and it's got haste. God damn. That's pretty that's pretty baller. It's in Japanese, so I wasn't showing it, but this is what it looks like. I mean the the I got him just do I love these I love these Godzillas. I wonder what the regular art's gonna look like. You'll never know. How can I get these Godzillas, guys? I need you to tell me. I want you to tell me. You know that song? You don't know anything. No. I know. 
I've never known anything ever. I know. I'm sorry. You're not. I could be. Get out of here. I guess we'll play Temple and Firewalkie. Take a million damage to do it. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm liking all of the alternate art cards in this set so far, so. I would love to get this Alessian Orn on my deck, but. Eldritch Revolution is good. We can get five drop from Reflector Mage. Let's see what they hit with their. Oh, good. Just a land. So we go to eight. Fifteen of them can be found as box toppers in any box. Three can be found in Japanese boxes. And everything except for the buy a box foil can be found in collector packs. Oh, I love Chris because Chris has like the inside info for being a card kingdom. Or Mox Boarding House, rather. Fifteen of them can be found as box toppers in any... I just want the non-foils. Three can be found in Japanese boxes. One is a buy a box and everything except the buy a box can be found... Oh, so I can just buy them separately then I guess because I'm not going to buy packs for them oh my god these are amazing dude phoenix perfect life form there's so many spoilers today man alright so this is a 4-4 four, for four, 4 with flying and mutate 4 whenever this creature mutates create a feather token it has one sacrifice return target phoenix from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped well, that's pretty sweet <coughs> Oh, God, I really don't want to, like, take a million here, but then they just bounce it anyway. So inside like... info, question mark. Bro, it's on the article that they post on the mothership. I never get inside info. Hmm. I didn't mean, like, inside info. I mean, like, you have... I didn't mean inside info, like, like secret info. I meant it, like, you have the, the, the pertinent info because it's relevant to your job. That's all I meant. I'm not like, Chris knows the secrets that no one else knows. I'm like, you're going to be up to date because it, it's relevant to your position. Yeah, this is fine. I'll trade a core Firewalker for this guy. It gives us a lot of time. Oh, man. Remember Chameleon Colossus? That guy was wild. That guy was wiling out. Is this another deck that I just want to play Blood Baron in? Because, like... Because Blood Baron is gas. As one of our five drops. Is that better than, like, a Thrag Tusk? I don't What's know. What's Blood Baron? No, oh, there's a Thrag Tusk right there. Blood Baron of Escopa? You don't know that dude? Yeah, I'm sure I do, but I don't recognize him. You don't know him, Michael? Do they get two mutate abilities? Yeah, exactly. I'm telling you, it's confusing. Nobody does. Oh, yeah. Can you keep mutating on the same creature? Your mom can. Hmm. God. God. Jeez. Did you see it happen? You love to see it. <clears throat> look. Look at this. He's, he's so sad. He's like, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I just got burned that bad. I'm here for you, buddy. Yeah, stack him up. <laughs> oh, John. John, what are you working on right now? Ooh, what's that spoiler? Biolante. Dude, these fucking arts are bonkers, man. I love these, like, Godzilla alternate arts, dude. I'm assuming this is a Godzilla alternate art. Because, like, the, the real name would be down here. Whenever... Okay, so this is a legendary 5-5 five, five for 5. Death Touch Lifelink. So, wow, that's actually that's already good. Whenever this creature mutates, return any number of creature cards with toll power 10 or less from your graveyard to the battlefield and the mutate cost is seven people? well that's good it's like a protean hulk type thing similar but I, different oh good eight nine with a batter thing i guess i'll just do one of these jobbies and just you know good i feel like we're not doing i mean it's seven mana but let's you reanimate a couple different things that's pretty good i feel like we have to path to exile hold omri's call Oh, good. They played a third fucking Magus of the Moon because that's fun. Yep. Can't do anything here because we just have three non-basics. God, Magus of the Moon is a really fun card. My favorite part was when they um, didn't let me cast my spells. Um, yeah, that's the worst thing in Magic. I hate it. It's like just not fun. It's like if there was a card and like, and if you're playing like the game of life, right? And there's a card that says, take away all your opponent's pieces and cards and they don't get to play them for the rest of the game. Yeah. And you're just like, 
but that's the game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, but now I only I get to do it. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I hate cards designed like that. All I right. hate stacks. I hate I hate that all. Land destruction, I hate all of it. What was the card I just mentioned instead of Thrag Tusk? Oh, Blood Baron. Blood Baroni. Where are you at, Bloody B? Bloody B? There he is. I don't have that one, though. Let's go to the one I do have. So, fuck, I don't know what it just took out. I just got the rag test. I hate when I click up here and it fucking removes the card from my, my main deck. Like, why? why? How are you that badly programmed? I clicked a card up here. It removed the card from my main deck. Come on, dude. Lifelink, pro white, pro black. As long as you have 30 or more life. It gets plus six, plus six in flying. But that's that's rarely relevant. It's usually just lifelink, pro black, pro white. Which is good. People are talking about a bug commander. That's interesting. Uh, it's called Saltai, but that's fine. Why you, is that interesting? Almost like the majority of the best commanders are Saltai. What about Muldrotha? How good is that guy? Scale Real of one good. to ten. Real good. Not necessarily competitive because he does cost six mana, but still very, very good commander. Where'd he go? Where'd the Blood Baron go? Oh, here he is. I don't know if it's better than... I feel like it's better than Trostani because there's very few decks that are actually trying to gain control of your guys. So I think I'd rather play... I'd rather play Blood Baron over Trostani because I think pro black pro... Like, it blocks germ tokens. It, like, can't be pathed. It gets through a lot of things. Was there anything that wasn't, like, just, just wasn't impressive? I feel like Collector Roof is definitely a sideboard card. It's just a card you don't want to draw normally. But I assume there are going to be two drops that we wouldn't mind drawing normally. Mike, where's the list of best commanders? There's like a personal tier list. Uh, you can go to CEDH deck database and it'll show you uh, there's a little symbol that'll have the Frexian symbol, and those are considered top tier. That's the easiest way to find out. I want you to show me. You know that song? I want to know what love is, Michael. Yeah, Hossmania just posted it. That song? That's wild. What a coincidence. I feel like we're having two different conversations here. I want to play Mana Confluence because I do want to play Core Firewalker second turn. Oh, actually, no, I don't. I want to play Collector Roof second turn. <laughs> Especially with this nonsense. Collector Roof is bonkers in this in this matchup. Though I would point out the CEDH deck database isn't perfect. They're missing a couple of commanders on there that are actually like have won tournaments and done really well. So, but it's a pretty good starting point if you're looking for competitive commanders. I think I counter this. Snow counter. <laughs> Fuck, gee, come on, dude. Seriously, mana leak. Come on. What are we even playing right now? <clears throat> I want you to show me. I want to know what love is, Michael. Is that too much to ask? <laughs> I, I don't think so, but some people would say, some people would say yes. Hmm. Good talk. I'm glad we had this conversation, man. I feel like I'm just talking and Michael's just reading the chat and like we're not yeah. even in the same we're, not, we're not in the same room we're in the same yeah it's not even the same stream man I'm just singing 80 songs over here making references and Michael's like huh that commander comment that this I made it's relevant to my interest 
what? I mean, I'm glad. I'm like, it's cool that you're like so you like you're so invested in Commander. Like, I do like that. Did you just kill my mana confluence? All right, sure. Whatever you got to do, bro. I didn't want to take infinite damage from it anyway. Joke's on you, buddy. I guess they just wanted planes. Did you just Google? <laughs> Let me Google that for you, love. <laughs> Thanks, John. Wow. John, did you answer my question about what you're working on right now? I'm working on super top secret unannounced awesome stuff. I think there's no better place to announce it than right here. I think that's actually, that'd be pretty sweet. <clears throat> well, I mean, I played Jenga Taxis as I've brought him to most GPs and I've done pretty well. I'm just looking to see what pretty well are calling the bonkers. Is that like Pennywise? Yeah. Pity well the clown? I mean, to be fair, if you can get to the mana to cast him to cast Get to the mana? He's pretty good. Let's kill this. I don't know. I don't know if that matters, but... But you would certainly get enrolled in a competitive pod. John, can you let me know when you guys are making L.A. Noir 2? Because that's really relevant to my interests. The answer is no, he can't, but. But maybe. I still want to know. I want to know what love is. I would like you. I would prefer if you showed me. That would be. I mean, I have to assume this deck has, like, Wrath of Gods, right? So I'm not going to, like, put another dude out. Yeah, I mean, if you played at a real competitive table with a Jenga Taxis deck, you would. There's. You get rolled. By rolled, I mean stomped. Yeah, Nifty Chris, Beer Man Man is the John that we had lunch with, or dinner with at Maggiano's. Yeah, that was the BlizzCon. That's the same BlizzCon, John. <laughs> John, Beer Man Man, Nifty Chris is the other guy, the the tall, skinny gentleman that we had dinner with at Maggiano's. That's hilarious that you guys didn't even know. That's funny. Um, return it to my hand and draw a card. Okay, you know what? I kind of want to path it just so they don't draw and also... We're one step closer to the edge, and I'm about to break. I also don't feel like uh, I don't I don't feel like paths are super relevant against them. So, any land, and we get to play Rurikthar, which seems pretty good against the the ice deck. The ice deck. <laughs> it's like, please make fun of me for saying the ice deck. Bring it, Michael. Villain's Wealth is sweet. I've considered building commander deck all around Villain's Wealth because it's so cool, but. What'd you say to me? Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, puppy dog guys, I'm not trying to make you sad. I'm just trying to. He is. I'm trying to learn you about competitive EDH. I'm just that's trying all. to make you sad. Mike made me sad. He said my deck was no top tier. I was in a Modern Horizons draft yesterday. And I saw a player with the username Bobby Biscuits, and I feel like that's been mentioned. Wow, that's actually hilarious. What are the odds of that? In most commander games, though, they're not like geared for competitives. I think Jinn Taxis can make a very strong, good deck. Because, like, if that guy lives for like a turn, everyone basically just loses. There's no way Bobby Biscuits isn't a stream specific name, right? There's no way that someone actually has that name completely independent of the stream, right? Well, okay, so we can either play Worm Coil or Rourke Thar here. I think I like Worm Coil because it's because of 6 6. And they've also played double path, right? They put one path, I guess. No, this guy's just getting mana leaf because fuck, of course you always have it. Yeah, cool. Never don't have it. I'm good at this game because I draw the cards in the right order. That's super cool. <coughs> I'm glad your luck is so high. Except for that I'm not, and I think you kind of suck. Sure, bounce my guy. You got it. I don't have an MTGO account. <clears throat> oh, we don't actually. Yeah, we do. We can get like an overgrown tomb, I guess. What? What? Why is it asking me? I was like, wait, what? Is there a mistake? That was a mistake. Hey, Mike B, you might want to take a peek at the latest metagame snapshot. What is that? I don't know. Click that link. 
What is this? The metagame project? I don't even know what this is, man. This is a lot of data. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, this is 19 pages, dude? I'll just go, oh, well, it's not going to show up in my chat. Dang it, I hate that. Yeah, I'll just send it to you, man. Yeah, you can do that. Why wouldn't it show up in your chat? Oh, well, because if you, I go to the chat, you opened it's it afterwards. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be old. There you go. All right, can we just get my my Aleshi down? Is it me or is it Ikora really? We stole every mechanic from Hearthstone the set. Well, Hearthstone wouldn't exist without magic, so I think that's a stupid argument. Yeah, it's like, oh. So the game that literally wouldn't exist without magic is only, is magic might be borrowing from them a little bit? All right. I'll, I accept. Oh, good. It's doing the thing again. Okay. Well, that time it worked, weirdly enough. Also, I don't, I, I don't really, I didn't really get any, the only, the only stole from Hearthstone impression I got was, uh, Companion, which kind of feels like quests, right? Because you start the game with it in your hand, slash out of the game, I guess. See, Blood Baron's great. Can't pass with Teferi, can't path it, and that seems very relevant in this matchup. Um, all these cards seem really relevant. Oh my god, this is so much information. Hmm. It really is. It was like 19 pages long. Um, take out one path. They don't have a ton of creatures. I think Rest in Peace is good. Linvala doesn't seem to do much. Kalidus. Kalidus could be fine. The problem is we're not killing a lot of creatures, so I don't even know if I like Kalidus in general. Oh, yeah, your deck can only contain even convert. Yeah, right, right, right. Like, again, Grey Mare and the uh, the other dude. Yeah, I get that. That makes sense. That is definitely a feeling I have as well. Okay, cool. Are we doing it again? No? Okay. All right, let's submit like this. That's a lot of info. Where are the turtles, <coughs> Michael? Does confirm a lot of stuff that I thought. Where I are the turtles? Tell me where the turtles are, Michael. What am I putting back here? Yeah, their sworn cannonists can go. Yeah, those listed are pretty much your uh, real competitive metagame. This has been your real competitive metagame. Yeah, but card, card game designs are very incestuous, but, like, not even... I don't even think in a bad way. I think they just... It's really impossible. If you're looking... I, I'm a magic designer. I play a little Hearthstone because I appreciate it as a game. It's very hard to completely detach any sort of ideas or influence you've taken from Hearthstone just as a player. And, like, never consider it as a design. Because, like, you're either going to have to do that deliberately... Like, I deliberately have an idea about magic, but, like, I'm going to choose not to use it. Because I know some of it may have stemmed from Hearthstone... Or you just have to accept the fact that like that just happens, and that's just how the how the design process works, right? And you improve upon it, you build upon it, and it's just like a good idea is a good idea. No reason not to. Yeah, I agree with you, hundred percent. And right. it, I think it's disingenuous to be like, oh, well, if if they had the idea, we can't even come close to anything that that might resemble it because I think it's just a known quantity that that the two companies are gonna. Mark, I never argued that Jenga Taxes was a competitive commander. I I argued the opposite. Uh, if I if they are where the drawing boards go, I mean like I'm not gonna worry. Like Magic's been around for literally over 20 years. Like I've literally been playing Magic for like 26 years, 94 to 2004, 2004 to 2014. Yeah, 26 years. Like have you been playing since it came out? Oh, uh, I started playing like 95, like revised really? slash Fallen Empires. Who's your power, bro? I I had no idea that magic was like a, a, a loop i didn't i was like third like really i was like middle school early high school yeah and also back then there wasn't like a way to tell what the best cards were unless you just knew about that kind right of stuff. i should have played this you had to be in the know like i had no comprehension of like investments and like i should buy these cards because they're valuable like i didn't even want to play the game also back then you. shiv and dragon cost more than black lotus so <laughs> i probably would have traded for black for anyway 
Uh, I traded a Sengir Vampire, which was actually good for like a Sea Serpent because it was a 5-5 five, five versus a 4-4. Four, four. I also traded a Time Walk, a really mint unlimited Time Walk um, that I paid like 140 bucks for at Gen Con one year for one Ollie of Cairo and one Force Field. And the argument was that like, hey, these two cards are, are this is like two really powerful cards for your one really powerful card. And I was like, I, you know, a few years later, I was like, wow, what a, I was a really not smart move I made there. I mean, Puppy Dog Eyes, I'd be, I'd be interested to see your list because do you play like fast mana and the free counters? I think I'm going to path this guy too. What is this going on? I love Ice Fang Cuddles. Send them. me that link. Damn. God damn it, Michael. Oh, oh page not, not found. Page not found. Get your decks together, puppy dog eyes. That's unbelievable. Your list might be too old and might have gotten. Yeah, Grandpa. It's private. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You guys want to see my private dick? You can't. Sorry, jokes on you, dummy. I will show you the privates. Uh, mm. Show it to me on the XM site. There we go. Oh, that's just shipping updates. Dang it. Anyway. Anafenza. What are the odds that they have another Ice Fan Codal number three? Guys, is it 100%? Of course it is. Of course they have three fucking Ice Fan Codals. Why wouldn't you? Of course you do. All right, now try it. I think he unprivated To it. the surprise of no one. I don't think we're going to kill one of its arcanes. Astrolabes. No, great. Yeah, we'll just make a... We'll make a Oh, good. Jason the Mind Sculptor. That's easy to beat. It's it's not, though. You are correct. Yeah. What can we get for three? Or two, rather. Nothing good, I bet, right? Camball doesn't seem super exciting. No. That's also a three-minute card. We can't get a three-minute. Yes, we can. We can get... Yeah, because we can get yeah we can get yeah, you get a three you yeah, get two plus right. plus two. <sighs> Took that link from me one more time. All right, I'll just refresh it. God, I know you still had it up. There you go. Okay, Michael, I'm trying to fucking play my game. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Whatever, we'll just play night again. I'll right, take a look at your. List. Now I will kill this because if you got an Urza coming, Urza's still legal in this format. <laughs> Showing private is how you get banned from the rat train. Send them on down to rat train. Have you ever been outside and got to call on the rat train? <laughs> Oh, good. They bounced my knight again. Must be knights.
Oh, two Teferis. Cool. Hmm. Oh, yep. This is really... This is a game, all right. Yeah, that's Mike's wording is my favorite part of the fucking rad train. Have you ever got to call on the rad train like it's a privilege? Where <laughs> it's like, I haven't got to call on the rad train. They just wouldn't let me. All right, we're one two with this deck. I just don't. I worry that it's too diluted. I like a lot of the the one ups, but I never want to Eldritch Evolution into like a two drop. Like I don't think Eldritch Evolution into one core Firewalker is really where you want to be. I just don't think you have the luxury of doing that. Same thing with Collector Roof. I think these guys should be in the sideboard and you can get them if you really, really need them. I think for the cost of like Narset, um, Kalidus I also don't like in the deck because again, you don't have ways to kill creatures. If you had like Abrupt Decays and Assassin's Trophy instead of Path, I could understand. But like right now you're just literally like, you just have to hope your creatures are slamming into each other. I guess if you have Kalidus, no, even Eldritch Evolution, like you're just, I, you know, I, I just don't think Kalidus is great in the sideboard. I like Linvala. I, Sun Titan's cute, but again, it's not really doing anything. I mean, there's Primeval Titan. I would actually move like Scavenging Ooze, Collector Oof, Core Firewalker, Thalia, and Cannonist to the sideboard. I just don't think they're that great in the main deck. And I would probably just play more copies of Stoneforge Mystic because I think that's really good. Like, against like Mono Red, if you... Oh my god, it's doing it a fucking again. This is like, un, this is unplayable to me. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's real annoying. Like, it just happens way too frequently. Have you ever gone down the mountain? All right. I'm going to play one more for the Urchai. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah, guys, that list looks pretty good, actually. I like it. Michael Michael approved. The only thing I don't like about it is it feels like you're really relying on your commander to draw cards. But other than that, I think it's real good. Guys, help me with another two drop and another three and another four drop. Uh, <clears throat> I'm tempted to actually cut blue because it just seems worse for the deck. Like, we can cut Breeding Pool and probably Cities of Brass if we just cut Reflector Mage and Dragon Lord Ojitai. These are the only blue cards in the deck. I think Kitchen Finks is actually a fine... This seems like a good ad. I like Reflector Mage, but I just don't feel like it's super necessary. Plus, like, now we can cut Breeding Pool. We can probably cut Cities of Brass... I mean, it's a three-color deck now. We don't even need Mana Confluence, to be honest with you. Like, we have very few black cards. We have one Campbell, one Siege Rhino. Oh, we have one Rorikthar, which is weird because we had Breeding Pool for the red, for the blue, but not red for the the Ruri. Two-drop Tibble, four-drop two Tibbles tap, taped together. <laughs> oh, Chris. This is why Chris works in Magic, but he's not a big Magic player. I surprisingly don't hate Wall of Roots. I just want creatures that do things, though. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? I'm also unsure of why Crucible was in the deck. Oh, you're referring to the Commander deck, not this deck. Okay. I hate you guys. I wish we could just talk about this deck for fucking five minutes. I was trying to talk about it. I was like, wait, why is he talking about Crucible? That's real, real mature of you, Michael. Let's put one stomping in just for safe, for safeness. Safeness. I'll add one of these. Another, another Overground. I also want at least one Swampers. Might as well have some outs to Magus. 
That's old Maggie of the Moon. Maggie of the Moon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wake up, Maggie of the Moon. I'm going to stop and eat and eat and stop today. Do I want Urborg? I don't think so. I got, yeah. I got three or three black cards. Doesn't seem worth it. Doesn't seem worth. I'll get one Godless Shrine too. Also, you can't search it, so yeah. you can't search it. Search it to the limit. Right, this is twenty-two lands. Are there any cool lands we can play? I hate Moon Maggots. Me too, man. I'll play one more Verdant Catacombs, I guess. Yeah, that seems fine. Okay. We do have four more slots that we need to fill here. I missed what you cut. Okay, so one of the decks that was actually pretty sweet and did well in Pioneer, I believe, was this Eldritch Evolution list, which just gives us some ideas. One Chupacabra could be... I cut all the, the specific cards. Oh, I like Tulsimir as well. Um, I don't think we need better six drops. Six drops are sweet. Um, Jade Light Ranger is interesting, actually. Oh, Voice of Resurgence is pretty decent. Oh, hold on. We're doing it again, guys. Oh, yeah. The Zoom City. Oh, okay. That time it worked. I don't know. There's no, there's literally no rhyme or reason to anything. Okay. So, Modern, Eladomri's Toolbox. This is these four different Eladomri's Toolboxes. Eladomri's calls are, are tilting me. <coughs> yeah, that's gross. Could play Thoughtseize. It's probably a good addition. The awkward thing about adding thought teas though is you don't want to cut too many creatures. Yeah, I don't like. I, I want more creatures. I want more creatures. You could play the thought seas on a stick guy. What's the name? I forget. Yeah, I don't like Todd Holoskeller because we're not going to sacrifice it for. I don't want to sacrifice it for evolution oh, and give him back yeah, a card. That's awkward. Mm -hmm. Like, here you go. Um. I think Jade Light Ranger is decent. We could also just play like Noble Hierarch. Yeah, that probably make the deck more consistent. I do like one or two Noble Hierarchs. Probably just one for now. We can put a Jitte in here too. That'd be pretty sweet, right? I'm gonna take one. Gonna play Shadow of the Colossus again at some point. Yeah, I think we're both feeling better now. So. Do branch walker if you need to do I mean like a ranger if a branch what? A range a ranger effect? Well, it's hard to get both in here. We only have three slots. Are there any good persist creatures? I think I actually just kinda like one ravenous chupacabra to just kill something. Like having a Like being able to sacrifice like a, a dead stone forge to like a to kill something is Yeah, that seems pretty good. Like that seems fine. I like that. Um Siege Rhino is just good. Do I just want a second Siege Rhino just to cast it? Kind of, yeah. I need just one more Noble Hierarch. Because, <laughs> like, we have four calls and four evolutions, so, like, we can actually just sacrifice these for any of these, which is just fine. All right, let's see. We need to cut... Oh, uh, yeah, this seems... Let's try this. Let's give it one more. It's your boy, fam. Flan. It's your boy, Flan. Okay. Well, this card's the same. I hand. said Elishnorn was like a Birds of Paradise. <laughs> Can we swap it? I mean, this hand is rough as a 5-drop, 6-drop, 4-drop hand with 2 lands and modern. I'm just going to ship it. Eh, this will keep. Ship the Rag Tusk. Push it to the limit, guys. Yo, I love Flan. Oh, uh, what? 
They're playing mill, but they milled themselves. I have a confuse. Oh, they're self-milling for Oracle. Yeah, all right, sounds good. We're probably dead then. <laughs> I don't know how this deck works, but I just assume, like, they're going to do it. Well, as a puppy dog, guys, you can you should consider adding a strip mine to the deck if you're going to play Crucible. I hate strip mine. Unless it was already in a list and I missed it. Oh, it's in there? Okay. Never mind. Oh, good. Here we go. Here we go. Modern being modern here, guys. Alright, so if you turn a Planeswalker into a Dragon with Sarkhan and then put a Mutate creature on top of the Planeswalker, does it stay under permanently until end of turn? You oh, got God. me. I don't want to know. Oh, so they're just dredging. That's pretty cool. Well, Anafanza seems pretty good against that, right? Well, it's a little late, I think. I'll just get a thing, because I don't really feel like dying to my mana boost. I mean, I guess if we can play Shadow Spear next turn, that's actually pretty decent. I wish it got Vigilance, though. That'd be cool. <clears throat> they also hit a Creeping Chill. I was wondering, like, why are we at 10? Oh, because Creeping Chill. God, Dredge is just such a miserable archetype that I wish never existed in any format whatsoever. I like it in Commander. But it's not really broken in Commander. <clears throat> I'm just kind of watching them do stuff right now. You know what? I'm just going to block here. Four, five, six. Because what? What? It, what's the worst that could happen if you mill yourself for three more? Oh, it doesn't matter because we have Anafenza. Carrion Feeder. Sure. Oh, look. Another Vengevine. We're having a good time. So my biggest problem with the deck, I think it's just it's too slow. Like, the problem is El Eladomri's Call, while I love this, the option for the toolbox... It's just a little slow for modern. If this is a modern pioneer card, yeah, take my money. If this is a pioneer card, Mike said I had the best deck ever, so I'm not sad anymore. <laughs> did you say that? I didn't say that. Shut up, he, shut up, man. He thinks you did. I said it was good. I didn't say it was the best deck ever. Well, you, you should have. Why would you not say that? Because it's just not. You're being really rude right it's now. It's unoptimized. I'm trying up. to say it quiet so they don't hear. I think he's gonna hear. Oh dang it! Is that how microphones work? I think. I think. I don't know. So if we block here, we gain five. We go to six. We take four, five, six. All right, cool. I'm gonna concede the game. All right. What up? Oh, what up, Remaker? All right, so we're going to bring in Rest in Peace, obviously. Uh, scavenging is for sure. Um, Excuse me. Galak Team actually doesn't seem that bad. It shuts off Creeping Chill. Does okay. Leyline of Sanctity? Yeah, cause, yeah, because they can't cast it. Oh, is it an actual cast? Yeah, man. Every spell is a cast, right? Come on. Well, dredge is weird. Sometimes you just do stuff and it's not really a cast. So. <laughs> so, uh, when it's put in your graveyard, you may exile it if you do. No, it doesn't. It's not a cast. Yep. Told you. Shut up, you little biscuit. I thought I was right on that one. 
I thought I was right. I'm so smart. I wish I wasn't so smart all the time because I hurt my brain to be this smart. Oh, biscuits, look at my smart brain. Just had milestone hit the 1 million COVID-19 cases. Oh, Jesus. That's not a... That's not a it's good... Not okay. That's not a good milestone. Uh, Campbell doesn't seem like they have any spells that they're casting. Yes, this is modern. Night of Autumn, I guess you're okay. Not really. I don't know what to do here. I guess this is fine. <sighs> push it to the limit. I just got done doing push-ups. Mike, I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Mike is going to get you, bro. Look, I think your deck is fun. I think it's good. It's just not competitive. I'll just tell him what he wants to hear. Michael, stop being a hero. I think you got most random pods of commander players. You'd be doing pretty good. Yeah, Vintage Cube is down, unfortunately. Also, I'm curious why you don't run the, like, Ponder or Brainstorm. Or, like, Treasure Cruise. So Katie's having a moment. She's worried about her internship because, like, the hospital doesn't know what they're going to do. Like, oh, they've no. just been changing their, like, their protocols every week and, like, how they're treating, like, um, like people have to who, want, who need to stay home or, like, stuff like that, so. Are you telling me the deck doesn't go on the fridge? No, it goes on the fridge. That's not what I'm saying. It goes on the fridge. It goes on the fridge. Yeah, get those magnets ready, boy. you Push Michael to the limit. Vintage Cube is down. It, it went down yesterday. Right on Mike's birthday. They're like, Michael B, it's your birthday? <laughs> Done. Let's get rid of these vintage cubes. <coughs> oh, look at this little shit burger. Shit burgers and... But that's 100 magnets. Well, you better get them ready. If you want to put them on the fridge, you got to get them magnets. If you want them on the fridge, you better get the magnets. I feel like if they don't have the answer to this, we just won the game, right? Yeah, but they always have it, Michael. We'll just cast. Well, they have nature's clay. Boo. Yeah, play your landfall trigger. I dare you. I fucking dare you. What's Kataki? You don't know what Kataki does? War's Wage? No. Sometimes I like to smell. Is that the 10-mana one? You dumb, stupid biscuit. Oh, man. It smells very good. No, Michael. I'm just like, I'll just cast my Gravecrawler, I guess. <laughs> Michael, can I tell you about the rock lobster? <coughs> you know how bad our scavenging is now? It's pretty rough. It's just a 2 2. I hate rest in peace. Do you? Did they fatal push my guy? Wow, that's aggressive. What are they going to attack with this guy? Bring it. You hate Rest in Peace? Mm -hmm. Why? It's helping us win the game, Michael. I only hate it for Commander. Oh. Because it's weird because, like, so 9 out of 10 Commander games, no one's playing a graveyard strategy, but literally every deck just decides to run graveyard hate just because. Well, well why the... Are you the guy running the graveyard strategy? Yeah. Look at this one one that puts three cards into exile. That's pretty good, right? Nice creeping chill, nerd. <laughs> Oh, Kataki, the two drop. Oh, man, that's hateful. Oh, this game's over. Yeah, Kataki seems like a yeah, real... Yeah, you don't know Kataki? War's Wage? That's a real That's a real hateful white card. Hi, Hunter. What are you doing, you big biscuit? Hey, what happens if I play a second Siege Rhino when they have a 1-1, one, one, a 2-1, and an 0-2?
All I know is every time I play my CDC deck, I'm just trying to mill myself and make a bunch of tutus. Someone's always got to get mad about it and exile my graveyard. Oh, we just won the game. Apparently, two siege rhinos are too much. Oh, I can't do anything with my graveyard, so I can't win the game. Oh. Do you run the card two siege rhinos? They mana one? Are they taped together? Yeah. God damn. Is it, what is it? Uh, it's an 8-10 that, that deals six and you gain six with double trample? Yeah, exactly. Oh, you can get an upgrade. Yeah, it's like six, like nine hundred dollars more. <laughs> A small price to pay. Yep, this is a keeper. I mean, we don't have the... Mike, please take a look at my Feldon list. It's a fine tune that it could do it, as I could do it. Feldon's sweet. Mark, I think your English is actually better than Mike's. Oh, I I wouldn't argue that with anybody. <laughs> Got him. Are you calling Feldon? You call him Felden? Whatever. Felden's cane. Feldon. Hey, Feldon. Eh. You know about Feldani? Feldani. Yeah, he's that's the name of his self. Oh God, I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> God, every time, man. Every time. <whistles> Fly me to the Mac Bees. Do 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 do. Oh, Patreon, David. Thank you so much for the Patreon support, my dude. I was I I played my manas wrong. I should have, uh, I guess I'm playing both, right? So it doesn't really matter, but I could have just played planes. So now I feel bad. I'm probably just going to play noble here. Mark, that looks sweet. Mark could just not attack. Yeah, let's just not attack. I don't think the one damage is worth us taking two damage. That's a bad rate. Oh, Mike said it was sweet. Push it to the limit. Looks like a fun deck. Fell on an interesting commander. Oh my god, here they go. Nature's Claim. Oh, look at that. Yeah, beautiful. commander do be expensive if you want to run really, really optimized lists. Can you do me a favor? What? Can you roll that beautiful bean footage? I don't have any left. My real name <laughs> got leaked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Remaker, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it, dude. Hey, Mike B, can you check out my Grand Arbiter deck? Welp. Oh, you play Grand Arbiter? Yuck. Wow, Mike thinks you're gross. I just hate tax effects. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This is the man, link. He got me. This is the link. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad we're friends too, Chris. Oh, God. You know, the first thing you said was, I hate your deck. And then he, he did something real nice. I think he knew that because I talked about how I hate tax effects before. Oh, you think that's why he I did he, it? He got me real good. God, he, he did that get That was a gaudy, but also a wholesome. He got, that was a wholesome gaudy. <laughs> Look at all my birds, man. Do you like my birds, Michael? I overpaid. I'm so bad at this game. Get in there, you floating, trampling beauty. Also, Mark, I definitely feel that because, like, I'd really like to own a mana crypt for, like, all my decks, but, like, I don't really want to spend over $100 on one piece, of, one, one piece of cardboard, you know? 
Don't yeah, but don't don't say like one piece of cardboard. You know, like don't trivialize what it is. Oh no, I don't think there's anything wrong with doing that. I'm just saying I personally, it's not in my realm of. Reality. But when people say that, it usually means like because it's cardboard, it should be worth infinitely less. Oh, that's, that's not what I not... meant. I was just I was just saying a magic card in a weird way. Hey, Frank, did you tell Mike about our cellular bars cosplay idea for Halloween? What? Huh. 4, 8, 12, 13, 15, 16, 17. I guess I'll take 4 here. Pretty sure we're just dead, guys. No, I didn't. I didn't. Smokey Loki, I totally forgot. Which is weird, because I was thinking about it all day. Go on. You know. Yeah, this is just the end. So it's like we're all dressed as a black bar, but we're different sizes, so it makes a... Yeah. Three. Was... Un, one three, unfortunately. I, I, <coughs> Urchai, thank you so much for the opportunity to play the deck. I My my biggest problem is that I just don't feel like Elad, Elad Armory's Call is fast enough. Like, I don't think you have time in Modern to not only take, you know, to, to spend two mana to to get a creature, but then to, like, not even play that creature. Like if we we can't really search for a worm coil or a Rorik Thar or a blood baron, which I like, um, <laughs> because you'd have to do it on like your turn four to cast it on your turn five or six, which means you can't really do much else on those turns. So I think the biggest problem is just not having mana for a call. Joe, thank you so much for the Patreon. Really appreciate it, buddy. I don't know if you're in the chat right now, but thank you so much, man. Uh, why are we so red again? I don't know. Oh, Zerdes, thank you so much for the, for the Patreon as well. Really appreciate it, guys. You guys are great. This is nice. This is a nice little Patreon train that's going on here. But yeah, I mean, I love the idea of this deck. Oh, Chris Morris, two bucks? All right. I don't know if this is if this is an error, if this is all happening right now. I feel like this is an error, but that's fine. I accept it. Um, Yeah, see? Oh, my God. Yeah, see? That's what I mean. Oh, that's what I mean. Like, I don't think these are all new right now. Yeah, these are just, I think these are just old ones that are popping right now for some reason. And they're just going to keep going. Okay, I think we're done. But, like, this was the Pioneer list that we played, and I liked this one a lot, but I also think Pioneer's a slower format, and on two, you're, you're, more, you're more concerned with building your board. You know what I mean? Like, I think if we had cards like Voice of Resurgence on turn two, it might be better, but then I don't... That, I, we run the risk of just transforming it into a very similar deck. Um, I like the spirit of the deck a lot. I really, really do. I just don't think... It's cool. Yeah, I just... I think it's just a little too slow. Um, in terms of strategy, I think Elad Armory's Call is, is awesome, but I don't think it should be the centerpiece because, like, you just don't have time to, like, take a turn off to play this only to play a single creature. Like, if I search for a Knight of Autumn and then play it, it's like, okay, well, I have a Knight of Autumn, but it took me two cards to get it, you know? Or, and and five mana. So. Modern um, is a turn three to four format any slower as mana. Yeah, that's kind of true. You gotta that, be fast. Um, I don't think Modern is a turn three or four format anymore. I don't think there's many combos that are really turn, four, turn three or four. I think a lot of decks are are winning past that but it is a fast format and you have to be doing proactive things every turn um that being said urch i really appreciate the opportunity to play the deck hopefully you got some insights out of it and uh if you guys want to have your own decks critiqued send them in you can find out how to do that below in the youtube comments or in my twitch page and uh thank you guys for watching slam those like and subscribe buttons check me out at coolstuffinc.com every wednesday manatraders.com link and promo code are down below for 20 percent off your first three months and i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching